Alright, on a happy place, another Saturday session. Um, this time we're going back to basic, which I mean one drawing material black and white. Uh, we've done recently lots of uh, sessions on color, so it would be nice to uh, just go back to uh, something simple, but still very creative. Uh, so we're working on four sections and you can use any drawing material. Um, pencil, biro pen, marker, whatever. The idea is to have four sections with four different scribbles, uh, which you are starting with close eyes and then build up from that and very weird and fantastically creative drawing. So have fun and um, remember to post in our Facebook group. Bye bye. Okay, let's get started. So I'm having um, just a normal sketching paper uh, use any paper. I think it's quite interesting sometimes to draw on different colored papers. If you have like a brown packaging paper, that takes pen and pencil quite well as well. Um, I've divided that into four sections, and each section will be different creative challenge to play with the shape to come up with a different uh, drawing. Um, I'm using a fine liner, but feel free to use biro or pencil. Um, anything will uh, do. The challenge is to have different starting point in each section and then develop that into more complicated drawing. Um, what I'm going to start with is just simple scribble or doodle in each section and then I come back to each section and develop full drawing based on that. Now I don't want to know what's going into its, each section for the start. So what I'm doing, I'm closing my eyes I position my uh, pen or pencil, whatever you're using, somewhere in the section. So I'm not, I know I'm not drawing on the table, and I'm just doing some loose scribble. That's my first one. Now moving to the next, this one, and try different shapes. Um, some of them maybe you know organic, smaller, bigger. So this one I want more sharp because the previous one, were, previous one was more natural shape. Okay. Okay, this one I think I'm going to start... This one I'm doing a bit different. I'm starting from the top. So I know I'm at the top, so I need to go down. And I'm close... Again, I'm just close my eyes. And try something quick as well. So I still have my eyes closed. Okay, didn't expect that. I just opened my eyes. And this one I'm doing in the middle and I'm starting with, again, close eyes, shape, shape. Okay, very different, aren't they? So now it's just about having a good creative time, looking at each section and drawing by inspiration from that shape. Um, if you remember, we did um, um, ages ago activity on watercolour and pulling shapes from watercolour. So this is very similar, but this time you're only working with um, line. You're starting with single line. You're not having colours, um, which I think is, is quite good because we've done lots of lessons on, and sessions on colours recently. So let's go back to basics. Right, so I will start with maybe one or two. Film as much as I can for you and guide you through the process and then I show you of course the final piece or maybe two or three completed. I'm starting with this one and now nothing is stopping you to change your direction right now. So now if that's the case and I've just done it and I'm seeing elephant head in this one. Didn't see that before. So I'm going for that kind of creature with big side ears. So emphasizing area of where the ears kind of are uh, the shapes indicating me in this trunk and now the head. By varying um, your line thickness, so go with bold lines or sometimes like here, I'm having very thick line, I'm just filling that with um, drawing. This is how you're going to define shapes being more visible to your eye. Because what you're trying to do is to get more visible shapes and add to them from your initial scribble.
All right, so let's make the head more visible. And I'm going to add some eyes. An experiment with the pattern as well. It's a great um, opportunity for doodlers to get lost in this activity. If you're a doodler, you will know what I'm talking about. Well, it's also about adding different parts, so I'm going to add a bit of body. And you can also work from the background, whatever you want to add to your drawing. I'm just going to add something more like a land, line of the land. So that's how you would evolve from a simple scribble. And because every section asks you to have different scribble, that's what it make, makes it really interesting. So now again, this you know, in this one I would develop and develop on layers, patterns, uh, blocking some areas, making them black, some of them leaving white, adding dots, and so on. I like that his head is so because this scribble is here, it's not, you know, perfect white kind of. So I'm just going to carry on with this. Right, so that's that's the start. So let's move to something else. There's nothing, you know, stopping you turning your paper. That's something I would invite you to do as well. So I have very different shapes and scribbles here. Mm. So let's maybe work with this one. It's very different. Um, I think this one will go more into plant direction. A tree. If you have any small areas like this one, it's really um, interesting when you bring lots of contrast by making them fully black. See how that works. So I'm playing with the concept here now. I like those little spots of black. Okay, and then you know you have all that space to carry on with your drawing. This activity might take you a whole evening. 
um, because this is what I'm showing you, it's just the starting point and you still have so much space to fill in. Okay, so we'll carry on on some of them a bit more, maybe give those two a start and I'll show you how it looks so you have idea how to progress. Um, and I'm really looking forward to what you're going to create because there won't be any of um, two pieces that are even similar, you know, nobody's going to create the same scribbles and the same things coming out of those scribbles. So it'd be very, very diverse. If you want, create with a child and maybe um, you start the scribble, the child starts first uh, building up first lines on it, drawings, and then someone, and then you carry on. So uh, let me work on that a bit longer and come back to you. So I want to show you some progression. Each section is completely different. So this one I made more into like a landscape. Um, those two um, are just, they just started them. So this was the segment with sharp lines. Um, and I just followed, followed the days and, and I really enjoy building this up. It's going to be like more like 3D kind of doodle. So what I'm doing, I'm just building up, you see, on those shapes, following suggestions and then just filling them with pattern. And this one here is gonna be very, very weird. I know that already, but once I started it and I um, started with this eye, I knew it was going to turn weird and I just want it weird. So I may um, continue on those ones later. I'm sure I will continue on those ones later. Um, but I just want to show you some progression because to show you a completely final piece, I'll probably be drawing here for hours and hours and it's never ending. So I hope it gives you the idea what to do and uh, just go with your intuition and even if it looks weird, the weirder better. Um, have fun.